Welcome once again to Product One's technical web series. Uh, today we're looking at augmented reality inside Creo 8, focusing mainly on the ability to publish what we regard as combined states. So as many of you know, um, you can take an assembly and essentially create an AR experience. And there's various ways in which you can share that model via an email or printing what we normally refer to as a thing mark. So let's start first by looking at combined states. So whenever you've got, let's say, an assembly like this, uh, you can modify uh, the viewable. So let's put this into perspective. If I want to showcase the chassis on its own or the fork arm assembly or even the body panels, what I will actually do is create what you call simplified representation. And if you can uh, look here, I've got an option that says display combined state. So what this gives me is in my graphics window, the ability to toggle, if you can see as I'm hovering over each combined state, I am literally toggling through all those combined states. The first one that you're looking at is this one that contains all the geometry. So if I were to choose the one that's called body, for an example, this is what I have. And combined states, they take a combination of things, how the display of the components you set out to be, and even the orientation. So you can actually save that as well. So the other items is things like your exploded states. And the last one here is obviously the four cam assembly. Right. Now, let's look at how do you get to publish this? Well, this is very simple. In a sense that you get to choose whether do you want to make it a thing mark. So a thing mark is basically a printable QR code that you can give it to somebody. It's actually unique to that particular person. Whereas a spatial target on, on this, let's just uh, put in a spatial target, does not need uh that aid of a printed paper that you constantly have to scan all the time because what this will give you the ability to just tap on an email that will be generated after you've generated the experience and that gives you the power now to just select in the physical world where you want to place the model so let's have a look now i've actually got my a spatial uh target what i'm going to do is publish my experience. I get information uh, data notice in terms of uh, uh, what PDC puts forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this experience as such and uh, obviously publish it to my personal. One thing that you need to know though is for you to be able to showcase uh, combined states, you need to set your viewable to high. And then instead of using what you call current state, you're going to say publish all. And that is it's all that you need to do in this. And then once you're actually done with this, you can actually say, okay, fine, okay. And then it actually publish this experience. Now that this experience has finished publishing, what you can see there in front of you is essentially the ability to download the QR code or to copy the link and send it as an email. So for the sake of this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan that QR code. As you can see, the experience is currently loading. What I am going to do though is I'm going to disable the video capture here so that you get to see uh, the full aspect of the experience. In fact, I can also toggle while I'm still having the experience loading for you to see what is happening on my iPad. So let's remove the video capture here. As you can see, the experience is starting to load. And just like that, on front, in front of me, I'm having an AR experience. So let's position it here uh, this way. And of course, you can make this as whatever size you want. And based on this, I can actually now start uh, doing a couple of things. I can obviously move the model, make it bigger, or even make it uh, smaller. So this is just about the right size for this particular demonstration. 
So what I'm going to do now is do the following. At the bottom, um, if we uh, look at the bottom here, I just want to make sure that uh, you can see the combined states field. So here at the bottom, there is a combined state. Uh, what I'm going to do now is the following. I'm going to pick from a list of states. So this is the first one. So let's choose the second one, which is called the body. As you can see, I'm seeing the body panels and the other uh, one that I'm very much interested in is, of course, the exploded state, as you can see. So you can choose as many combined states as you want, but this is just showcases the power of Creo parametric and with the ability to be able to convey a message. So that is it uh, in terms of augmented reality inside Creo Parametric 3.0. And it cannot be understated that collaboration and sharing of data is of paramount importance, especially in the world that we're living in. And all that you need to know is you have the power to do this inside Creo Parametric. If you need any further assistance, do not forget to drop us a comment on the notes uh, at the bottom, in the comments at the bottom. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos such as this. Until next time, goodbye.